so XDF, and right now I'm looking at Cred Checker from the 2021 Flare On Challenge. Uh, it's a super easy challenge. It was the first challenge in the in the event this year. And in fact, once you recover the password, which is where I'm going to start now, uh, you can actually just throw it into the HTML page in Firefox and you're done. They give you the flag. Uh, but I think it's interesting to look at how they decode the flag. So, um, and, and really how I, you know, in Py I can show how I would do that in Python, but in a blog post, I would kind of just put my list comprehension there and it'd be this long Python. It looks like I just came out of nowhere, uh, but really, you know, I, I wanted to show how I get there. So um, <clears throat> I, I put the password here um, in some pseudo JavaScript. I had actually figured that out, but then the rest of this stuff is all from the given uh, HTML page. So the key is here and then this little loop that takes decodes the key and uh, then loops over it, creating the flag. Um, so that's what I'm going to try to recreate in Python. So uh, I'll come up here and I'll just open up a Python terminal. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just grab these variables here. So I want to, I'm, I'm going to make a variable called password and a variable called encoded key. Uh, and those, <clears throat> those will both go in here. Sweet. And then uh, the first thing they do is decode the key. So I'm going to, you know, go ahead and import uh, from base 64, import b64 decode. Uh, that's the decode function. And if I do b64 decode, I'm encoded encoded key. Uh, you can see it's it just it's that kind of an array of bytes. Um, I can now I'm going to start to think about how I'm going to loop over that. So I'm going to actually do uh, save that as a variable key. Um, and then this is where I you know I start to build out a list comprehension. And list comprehension in Python are super simple, super cool. Um, what they do is they allow you to do like a for loop in one line. So basically, I'm going to do I'll just start with x for x and key. And so what this is going to do is it's going to go over each of these bytes uh, and save it as x, and then it's going to return x. Um, and so in this case, when when you loop over bytes, it actually returns the integer values. Um, but if I were to do something like char on that and turn them into characters, you can see I get the exact same characters I got up here. Here's the question mark slash m, etc. Um, and so again, you can also start to do things like you know, you can add two. And so we went from 63 to 60, you know, 63, 65, 92, 94 um, for each value, et cetera. Um, <clears throat> the next thing that's really useful to be able to have here is the idea of a function called zip. Um, so if you take zip and run it on two arrays, so something like uh, key and password, it's going to return, well, actually it's going to return what's called a generator. And um, I, I don't want to go into detail of that now, but you know, if you ever want to get the full results of a generator, you can just run list on it and you get it back. Um, so here, so you see, I'm getting back what is tuples or pairs of um, the objects from the two things I passed in. So here's the first character of password and the first character of key, the second and second. And it's going to go as long as as long as both of them have things. So as soon as as soon as password runs out, it's going to stop here. So I get to this 69, you know, 57, 69. So it's right here. When password stops, the whole thing stops. Well, I don't want that to happen. I actually want to keep going to all the way to the end of key. Um, and I want password to just sort of cycle back through. Um, so that's where I'm going to use actually this next uh, really neat thing called cycle. Um, so in, from iter tools, import cycle. And all cycles, uh, see if I can spell it right, oops, uh, iter tools. Um, and what cycle is going to do is it's just going to repeat, it's going to loop over passwords. So it's going to go password, 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 all the way through and as long as it's needed. So um, now if I do, uh, if I put cycle around this, around password, and I run it. Now I'm going to get something that's the length of key. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so now I've got this uh, zip of thing that's providing me pairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a list, uh, create a, uh, a list comprehension to go with that. And so we can start off really simple if you want to, you know, I always like to just start with the base case of what I'm trying to go for. So x comma y for x comma y in, um, because zip is returning a tuple. If I just do x y, then basically 63 becomes x and z becomes y, and then the next time 92 is x and 2 is y, um, and I can have those as two separate variables. So that works really nicely. Uh, again, I just run this to make sure it works. And in fact, look, I made a typo, so I need the closing print, the closing bracket, and there we go. So now I have my uh, list comprehension working. Now, what I want to do actually is not uh, return them as a tuple, but I want to well, actually, I'll keep working on the tuple for a second. I want to change uh, this character y into a number. So I'll, I'll get the ordinal. Okay, now I'm getting pairs of numbers. Uh, and instead of a tuple, I'm going to XOR them. So let's go do that. And now I've got just a list of single numbers. And then actually I'm going to convert those back to characters. And this is starting to look a lot like the flag. Um, if you want to make it look pretty at the end, you can do um, an empty string dot join and wrap it around the list. So it's going to take everything in the list, join them together with the empty string. 
and boom, now I've got the flag. Thanks a lot, and talk to you next time.